My name is uh, Engesser, Professor Engesser from University of Stuttgart in uh, Germany. Uh, we are part of an institute being busy on degradation uh, of waste in general. In the case of uh, fluorobenzene degradation, for example, I explained that uh, these bugs are very specialized uh, bacteria which you not will find you will not find them at every place. There is some sort of dogma of microbial infallibility uh, describing that you find at every place bacteria. This is right, but normal bacteria you will find at every place all over the world. But specialized bacteria sometimes you will find only at very specialized problematic uh, sites, surfaces where are contaminations of these compounds. And here you find these specialized, highly specialized bacteria. And then you can get these bacteria, enrich these bacteria working with them and uh, demonstrating their power, their usefulness, and maybe even, maybe even improving them to some extent. So we, we were busy with a lot of different industry types, metal producing companies, uh, liquor uh, producing companies, printing facilities, uh, waste uh, um, treatment facilities, biological waste facilities, so a lot of different sites where mainly gaseous compounds are part of the problem and can be treated. That's a good question, yeah, what uh, challenge. Normally the problem is to find the bacteria. Uh, even if you are going for specialized places, you may not find the really specialized bacteria uh, which are doing the job. In many cases, these bacteria will not grow in your laboratory system. So they are um, not cultivable, you say. Uh, you cannot cultivate them. Uh, and not research them. This is a big problem then. And uh, when we, a second or third problem, when we are constructing genetically bacteria, we are not allowed to use them because genetic law uh, inhibits us. So politically, we are not allowed to use these bacteria in nature. We can only use it in our lab system and we have to kill it. Uh, it should not uh, come out. I like it very much. I'm the first time here. So I learned that this UNAM Institute is a very old institute, busy on all these similar problems we are solving and we are doing. So I think this is, could be a very fruitful collaboration uh, to work with people here. And uh, we have already collaboration with uh, uh, yeah, a lot of people in the waste air business, Armando, for example, uh, Gonzalez. Uh, and this, I think we could enlarge, uh, could imagine that we can enlarge this collaboration. <laughs>